Well, we're talking more about some of the strong to severe storms we've seen back out west, back out east here on your weatherbug.com severe weather update. So I'm weatherbug.com severe weather meteorologist Aaron Schaefer with you. This is a growing cloud out of Idlewild, California, and certainly nothing idle about this particular storm. This is coming out of the San Diego National Weather Service office, uh, but a little bit further north, sections of central California. Still monitoring the rim fire, but the big change from yesterday to today is that we're now reporting it as 75% contained. So it's the fourth largest wildfire in California state history. History. So it's a really kind of an amazing system. But let's take you out to the east. We talk about and kind of wrap up some severe weather events from that area. Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts in toward Maine, even eastern Long Island seeing some storm reports. And then also another big cluster centered over eastern South and North Carolina as we look around those areas. Now, the interesting thing for severe weather, we pulled up some of these stats and the average, this is within about a 25 mile point. So if you were to stick a pin in the map and then draw a circle 25 miles around it in a radius there, you'd likely see well, one to 2% chance of severe weather. Now, let's go back in time a little bit. This is the same type of map, but this is from May 27th. And you're talking about an 8% peak risk for severe storms. So kind of interesting to see that. And now the bulk of our severe weather over the last couple of days has been located back on this area of drier air, making its way contrasted with some cooler air. Look at this though, two-day rainfall tallies in the Northeast Bar Harbor at uh, over four inches of rain. Still talking also about some flash flood watches back out to the west. So stay tuned to weatherbug.com.